There was a guy asking, why does everybody dislike Boruto? I mean, it has characters, and it has action. That's what every shonen has, so what's with the hate? I explained the reason in a simple and logical way, like any normal person would do. The setting is boring because there is peace. And like the subhuman he is, he used the usual excuse. But a war is about to break out. That hasn't happened and doesn't affect anyone. There can't be war drama if there is no war. Anyone who's ever taken a creative writing class knows that a dramatic story needs tension and conflict to drive the plot forward. The subhuman goes as far as saying the original Naruto had no stakes for a long time, while Boruto has rebel factions trying to start the war since episode 1. That means lots of tension right away. You hear that, guys? Zabuza and the Chunin exam had no tension because they were not promising a war after 700 episodes. For some reason, the subhuman did not notice how slow the plot is, since it's a mostly aimless slice-of-life comedy. When there is action, the enemies are quickly defeated and get forgotten immediately. As far as the manga is concerned, they are not even canon. And since we know from the flash-forward how Boruto survives up until that point, anything before that event doesn't matter. But no, we haven't seen what has happened, and that means tension! Tension for something we know nothing about, and the characters are not affected by it. Nothing happens at the moment. It's time for my favorite book clip. I haven't read it, but I can say it's my favorite book ever. So he says the eye techniques happen right now, and he's interested in them. Again, they haven't done anything yet. He just likes the idea of what they might do in the future. It's all about the maximum potential of a show, instead of the actual potential you see on screen. Shonen Tards love vague promises, even if they are never proven to be true. He did forever fail. Kubo said back in 2010, um, my Bleach series will go on for 10 more years. You know, he got cut off about four years shy of that. The creator of Fairy Tale said this is just a halfway point. I was like, whoa, and then the series ends like another two years later. At any given point, they could say, you know, six months from now, ah, uh, yes, uh, things went a lot quicker than we thought. And just like any intellectually bankrupt person does when confronted with the truth, he just dismisses the evidence and runs away instead of having legit reasons for still defending his misguided beliefs. By the way, because of his nickname, you know he's also a fan of My Hero Academia, another show that is promising you amazing shit in the future, when most of the plot in present time is tensionless training sessions. So there is a pattern with this guy, it's not Boruto in specific. And before any of you say I'm being harsh on what is probably a 12-year-old with no critical thinking, let me reassure you, he's in his 20s, as you can see from this photo, posted on the subreddit titled Gay Foot Fetish. This is not a one-time thing, he has a dozen topics, and they are all this shit. That's the kind of people modern shonen are attracting. Intellectually bankrupt manlets with a foot fetish. Retro for the win! It's a piece of paper! 